Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you my updated M&M's collection for 2022. So as you can see, I have all of my uh, M&M's stuff right here on my air hockey table, which I haven't used in a while, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever. Um, but um, yeah, this, as you can see, is my entire M&M's collection. It's an updated collection because I just got this one item today from Goodwill, so I'm making an updated video. So we'll start with this uh, this item first right here, which is the orange um, M&M's dispenser. It's obviously, the, it says wa wanted, the feeding frenzy has begun. And uh, I really do like it. Um, of course, I like all of these. That's why I bought them, but I do ha definitely have some favorites in my collection. So yeah, here we have him. Then we have this red M&M's bowl. So you actually open him up. I'm not going to demonstrate right now, but you can open him up and put like candy in him or M&M's in him. He's not a dispenser though. He's like a bowl. You can, he's a candy bowl. You can put candy in him. As you can see, he's holding a pile of M&M's right there. So he's very cool. Then you've got this uh, M&M's candy bucket for Halloween. You can uh, put candy in there so to give away candy to trick-or-treaters. I guess you can also use it to collect your own candy uh, when you're trick-or-treating, but I use it to uh, give out candy. Um, then we have my uh, M &M, yellow M&M's clock right here, which is still working, as you can see. I really do like him. Definitely very cool. There's a close-up on the clock. That's him. He's very cool. I do really like him. He runs on, like, double-A batteries, I think. Then we have my blue basketball M&M's dispenser. He's shooting in the motion of shooting a hoop, I guess. He's very cool. Um, yeah, he's one of my older ones, I think. But, yeah, really cool. Um, then we have my, uh, actually one of my yellow, just plain yellow peanut M&M dispensers. There he is. Very cool. He's actually one of my favorites, I think. He's one of those, like, classic, just regular yellow, uh, you know, character m &M dispensers. He's one of my favorites. Um, then we have this, which I just got today. This is why I'm making this video. This is the vintage uh, m &M's hot rod car uh, collectible that I got at Goodwill today, and I really do like it. There's a good view of it. I just did a review on it, and I really do like it. I got it for a really good price. There's the price tag right there, $3.99. Very cool. Then we have my saxophone M&M's dispenser back there. Um, I really do like that one. That one's definitely one of my favorites. In fact, if I didn't mention, this one's actually my, this one is my number one favorite thing in my M&M's collection, uh, which I just got today. This is my number one favorite item in my M&M's collection. I really do like it. But uh, let's go back to the saxophone one. This is another one of my favorites, the saxophone M&M's dispenser. Uh, I love his sunglasses and his saxophone. Very, very cool and unique. Um, there's a good look of him. I really do like him. Then here we have my three M&M's Nutcracker dispensers. Um, of course, they don't crack, actually crack nuts. They just look like it. But they actually, um, I can actually demonstrate it. They, uh, you put M&M's in them and they uh, give you M&M's out of their mouth, which is kind of gross, but whatever. Um, but yeah, they're really cool. Uh, the three M&M's Nutcrackers. Uh, I think the red one's probably my favorite. Uh, fun fact, this uh, one, the blue M&M's Nutcracker, is the first M&M's item that I have ever purchased. So he's very special. He's the thing that started the collection. He's the guy who started my M&M's collection. Um, and it's because of him that I started this collection. So yeah, those are my uh, M&M's Nutcrackers. Then we have my other yellow M&M's dispenser back there. Don't really need to show them that much because I already showed this guy the same. Then we have my uh, red Christmas M&M's dispenser. Um, let me hold him up. There he is. Really cool. Um, and as you can see, he's a 2015 special. So I guess he came out in 2015. He was released in 2015. So that's pretty cool. Then we have this Halloween-y uh, M&M's dispenser. It's a skeleton, the blue M&M dressed up as a skeleton, which is really cool. It says Happy Halloween. Then you see him dressed up as a skeleton, which is really cool. So I really do like him. He's another one of my favorites. I think he's actually one of my rarest M&M dispensers. So yeah, he's hard to find on eBay. Um, 
but you can definitely find like one or two on eBay, but still pretty cool. Um, here is my just plain red M&M's dispenser, another one of my favorites because he's a classic one, just a very um, nice one. Uh, as you can see, he's waving, and I just really like him. There we have my green M&M's dispenser, which is another one of my rarest ones, I think. There she is. Uh, I do really like this one. This is another one of my favorites, I think, and my top five favorites. She's pretty cool. Um, then we have another one that is is one and definitely one of my favorites. We have a uh, M&M's dispenser that actually has two characters, um, the yellow and red one together, which is another old one, and I really do like it. So, yeah, that overall is my entire updated M&M's collection as of this year, 2022. Um, do I plan on getting any more M&M's uh, items? Well, it depends on if I ever find any more at like my local Goodwill or like a thrift shop that has them for cheap. Um, I never plan on buying any more on eBay, unfortunately. But yeah, um, this is my collection. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, really nice collection in my opinion. And yeah, that is my M&M's collection for 2022. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment down below you thought of it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.